Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When formatting Gantt charts, you can also change the appearance of the columns within the task list shown at the left side of the Gantt chart view. In this lesson, we'll examine the buttons found within the Columns group on the Format tab of the Gantt Chart Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. You can insert many different columns into the Gantt Chart view to display whatever task-related project data you wish. To insert a column into the column list, simply select the column that is to the right of the place where you wish to insert the new column. Then click the Insert Column button that appears in the Columns button group. A new column will be automatically inserted and a drop-down list of the possible columns to display will be shown. Simply click on the name of the column of information that you want to have appear in this position from the drop-down list. Also note that you can add a column to the far right end of the column listing by simply clicking the drop-down arrow that appears in the gray column heading for the column that is labeled Add New Column. You can then simply select the name of the column to add from the drop-down listing that appears to append the selected column data to the far right end of the column list. You can also change the alignment of text within a selected column by simply clicking into the column and then clicking the desired alignment button shown in the columns button group left, center, or right. Also, if you want the text that is entered into a column to display using word wrapping, then click into the desired column and click the Wrap Text button that appears in the Columns button group to enable word wrapping. When text wrapping is enabled, text will automatically display on the next line within a cell when it reaches the right end of a cell versus cutting off the display of the cell's text. To hide the display of a column that you do not wish to see, click into the desired column, and then click the Column Settings drop-down button that appears in the Columns button group. Then choose the Hide Column command from the drop-down menu that appears. To change other attributes of a selected column, such as the title displayed in the column's heading, you can click into the desired column and then click the Column Settings drop-down button in the Columns button group. This time, choose the Field Settings command to open the Field Settings dialog box. You can then set any available property that is shown in this dialog box. The Field Name setting determines the data that is shown within the column. The Title setting determines the title that is shown in the gray column heading for the selected data field. The Align, Title, and Align Data drop-downs allow you to select a text alignment for the column's title and data. The Width field simply allows you to set the width of the column. You can also check the Header Text Wrapping checkbox to allow your column titles to wrap their text display. If you wish to automatically resize the column to best display all of the available text within that column, you can click the Best Fit button. Once you set the options you want, click the OK button to apply them to your selected field. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.